All right, y'all. So I'm going to give my reaction about how time they came. I'm going to give my reaction about the video where the man brought the food to the one child and didn't bring the food to the others. And I tried to do this earlier, but for some reason I had like some, I look like the Korean movies. I don't know what's going on with my Wi-Fi. I don't know if I got a bad phone service provider, but anyway, here I go again. And hopefully it's better uh, this time around. So anyway, um, I, long story short, I feel like they both wrong. And I'm going to tell you why I feel like she's wrong. First and foremost, as a woman, I am a single mother of three. I have never been one of these kind of people that's ashamed to admit that I've received government assistance. I'm not ashamed to admit that I still get it. Um, you know, I know all about that. And she said in the video that she has four kids. I get more than enough assistance with my three. So I know she's doing good with four. She said in the video that she told the guy when he got out the car, she didn't get her food stamps until the seventh. Now, there is no excuse why she should have ran out of no food stamps. The only thing I could think for people who run out of food stamps is they are eating really high quality stuff on food stamps, which there is nothing wrong with that, do you? But don't be surprised when you run out at the end of the month because you making seafood boils. Um, you buying Alaskan crab legs, king crab legs, and everything else, and all this expensive label stuff. Don't be surprised when you run out at the end of the month because it's going to happen. I've done that before. Okay? I had to learn the hard way that you can't be sitting around trying to live extravagant on food stamps. That's not what it's for. So, and it's probably what happened with her. Um, so, I think she's wrong for not being a good, you know, steward of what she receives. Now, as far as he if he goes, he is wrong for bringing that food over there in front of them kids. That is the ultimate wrong in the video. He is wrong for bringing food over in front of them kids. Kids don't forget anything. And it doesn't take, they're impressionable. It doesn't take much to set up a stigma or bad energy between kids. So this woman has three other kids and he's popping up with food for just one. He could be putting, driving a wedge and causing tension between those kids and that one child Behind just that, behind just the little McDonald's hamburger and a fry, you're going to cause lifelong tension between these kids. I think that's wrong, but I'm going to tell you what. As a woman, she has she she should have been there said something about that because she also said in the video, he comes in here every day with something for my one child and then for the other three. Why you been letting him get away? You should have never let him get away with that from the beginning, from the jump. Which makes me, which leads me to believe that they got some kind of relationship where they're talking because I have two kids with two different men and I'm not going to tell neither one of them I'm out of anything. Okay. Even my first daughter's dad, we get along, but you know, he does what he can when he can. And then my second daughter's dad, my ex, my third daughter's dad, my ex-husband, he's null and void. And I for sure wouldn't tell him I'm out of anything for him to be smiling at me because that's what he wants to hear. So they had to have some kind of relationship for her to even feel comfortable to come to him and tell him that she's out of food stamps and that her kids are hungry. So if she could go to him and say that, then why, she, why couldn't she just go to him and say, without putting him on camera, clout chasing, why couldn't she just go to him and say, she should have been able to go to him and say, you know, without even mentioning the other kids. You think I could get, you know, 40 or $50? Well, what for? Make something up. Make something up. I just need 40 or $50. If he gonna come over there every day with a McDonald's hamburger, she could have got 40 or $50 out of him. And you can do a lot with 40 or $50. You can do a whole lot. I've done it. I done made, I done, by the grace of God, I done made miracles with $30. Okay? Because sometimes things happen where... People, employers don't want to turn paperwork in and falls on you. Now you got to try to buy food for a minute until you get that other appointment and you get that back up and running. I done made some miracles off $30, but I'm going to tell you what's wrong with these women nowadays. They ain't got no survivor's mindset. They worrying about what people looking at and what people see. Let me tell you something. When it come down to my kids eating, I don't mind being seen coming out of a food bank. I've done it. I've done it. I ain't past going in the Dollar Tree and buying groceries. I've done that. What's wrong with 
a, a pot of chicken and noodles, a pot of beans, a pot of greens, some cabbage. At least go somewhere and get you a pick five and meat, and then go to the food bank and get your and get your sides. There is no excuse for your kids to be hungry. I feel like the whole situation is inexcusable. Ain't no excuse for your kids to be hungry. Come on now, it's a mindset, and it's not a it's not about being picky or being cute. It's about survival. Them kids gotta eat. Don't put it on that man because it's really not his responsibility to feed all of them. But you got to demand your respect too. You let him get away with that for a couple of days. What? You didn't check that on day one? Sus. So, I don't know. That's my opinion on it. And let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Don't eat me up too bad. But, hey, if you eat me up, I hope I taste good because it is what it is. <laughs> But my phone cut me off as usual. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Let's have a discussion. And I will talk to y'all later.